Yeah, I think most of the team was fired up and we are obviously very happy. Before game, uh, you spoke about the bad omen of having a player in your team playing his 50th test match. Was it maybe the spicy plum playing in his 50th game, the big red igniting the Springboks tonight, Skala? Well, everyone talks about the jinx of the 50th test match. You won your 50th, I did mine against the Lions, second test match as well, like the spicy plum. Victor won his 100th, so I don't know what you guys are on about. Yeah. I mean, basically, you're on a knife edge for so long this game. And then all of a sudden, it was roles reversed from last week. What we faulted in the first test match, the Lions did today, I thought just dropped off in intensity a little bit, unable to handle our kicking game. And where that intensity tells us every single scraps, every second first or second bounce was in a green jersey. Straight after that, discipline went. And that created us platform to get our line-out mall going and also our scrums. I mean, there's so many good players tonight, but for me, Damon Dallander was outstanding in his work rate on the fence and in attack. Set phases, Vic. Um, we seem to get our groove back from a set phase point of view. A little bit shaky in the start with the lineouts. You know, Lua de Jager coming on in the second half and providing so much stability there. But at scrum time again, you know, it, it seems like, you know, the juices was flowing and, and all the guys really performed in, in that department. Yeah, we spoke about the set piece before, uh, before the game. And uh, we said we, we need those set pieces. Last week we didn't get opportunities. The ground wasn't holding up on the scrums tonight. It uh, held up. And uh, we got lineout opportunities. Um, fantastic driving mall. Uh, that's South Africa. That's how we play. We put teams under pressure. We won the aerial battle as well and the scraps that Skulk is talking about. But for Warren Gatlin, it's going to be a very difficult week. Will he take South Africa on at their own game again next week? Or will they say, listen, we've got England, we've yeah. got Scotland. They like playing with ball in hand. We didn't see anything from them tonight. And yes, our defense is our strength. Yeah. But you have to have a go as well. That's exactly it. They came here, almost felt like now after the game, look, it, there was not a lot in this test match, but it felt like they were holding on, trying to get a test result, and basically just doing the bare minimum and thought that they would you know, basically be more patient in the box, be more accurate. That wasn't the case. Selection dilemma for them. And momentum in sports everything. Mm. All of a sudden, the, the, the pressure now transfers across to the British and Irish Lions and their selections for the third test. Because a lot of people say that the box play a uh, you know, boring kind of game. What we saw here tonight was you know, they were actually taking the ball to the wider channels way more than the Lions. And it was just as if the Lions uh, it was a one-horse uh, or one-trick pony. You know? It was kicking all the time and hoping that they could, could get the ball back, and they couldn't. Do they have the ability to change that around? Do they have the players to change that around? I think they definitely do yeah. have the ability, and they do have the players, but maybe they'll have to go, maybe a few more of those England players, maybe a Farrell at 12, uh, who can call it in the midfield, who can run that pot, who can say, listen, now we're going to eat it up in front, now we're taking it out the back. Let's use the width of the field. So it will be interesting um, selection for them. Look, they did it in, in, against the provincial yeah. sides. Yeah. Obviously, that's not doing it against the box. They tried yeah. it against SAA, that Wednesday game that was here with 16 Springboks in, they found it hard. They definitely do have the players. I'm looking forward to this last one. I mean, obviously, our starting front row was exceptional tonight, but then, you know, we mentioned the guys coming off the bench. The bench, the bomb squad for us tonight make a big difference, you know, to get the Vinnie Koch yeah. back. He was outstanding. Also, Malcolm Marks. When him, Marco van Staden's on the field, you can't really play rugby against us. We're so good on the ground. But great selection from Jock and from Rossi. I think the changes they made were spot on. But the guys who started the game, yes, the damn all broke at the end. But the guys that started, that yeah. front row really put them under pressure. I mean, uh, France might have it, making 12 tackles in 13 yeah. minutes. Uh, the big red. The yeah. big impact he had and then the guys coming off the bench then they could because the foundation was there yeah you can't really single out anyone and mm. say that this guy did not do his part in this game every single player that got selected whether starting or who came on did their part and that that created a collective result uh, you know in, in what we what we saw tonight the way that the box ended you know a lot a lot has been said about their preparation lack of preparation as such did we possibly only see the box in their comfort zone again towards the last 20, 30 minutes of the game and now only really getting back to, you know, the way that they functioned back in 2019? It almost felt like they started to own what they were doing. Mm. You know, the first test, they were exceptional in that first 40 minutes, couldn't close it out. First time they were under pressure. And part of that's your game managers. So tonight again, you know, Faf was outstanding. Hundra is outstanding. We didn't get a lot of opportunities. Who set those tries up? Nine and ten. Andre with a brilliant kick pass, 
Faf with a grubber off the right, which you don't see him mm. kick often with there. Yeah. Perfectly weighted, brilliant try. Uh, so outstanding game, and you know we got our wish. You know we no. got our wish. We got a decider on the way. I'm, I'm just glad that you acknowledge that the backline players are so important, and, and you know they, <laughs> they did cl- something <laughs> for a change. <laughs> well, yeah? it was the, the, the back of, of the 25 meter line off mall, of course. So then you've still... got to finish the job. You can't then kick it away. <laughs> you know, imagine it went a half a meter further; it would have been dead. Yeah. It, it still wasn't a perfect game. Okay, next week is the decider, and and you know on the back of this result. What do South Africa still need to do? What do they need to improve on? Because next weekend, you know, there's no slipping up. Yeah, I think for them it's a mental thing again. They need to be on the same level as tonight. They can't just go, we've seen it. If you're that 3 4% off your best, then you don't win the scraps. Because there's going to be a lot of balls in the air. Because both teams do kick a lot of high balls. You need to get those balls back. And from that, you need to put pressure on the other team. So for us, the biggest thing this week is definitely the mental battle. To be up there again coming to the game next week. 100% agree. It's how do you get yourself in that emotional frame of mind that you're up there and you want to do the best for the box. On top of that, discipline. Because that first half, mm. there was a couple of instances that could have turned bad for us. Yeah. Nearly a red card with Cheslin. You think the tackle of Fuff, maybe, was it? Yes, no. Um, Bongin Mbanambi straight after that, without arms, low tackle, leg chop. You know, a different day, different officiators next week. Does it go a different way? You can't play this game with 14 men. We saw that tonight. Um, So for me, discipline will be paramount next week. Scully, you touched on it now, the the officials. A lot lot was said beforehand. We we haven't touched on it now. I thought Ben O'Keefe had a fantastic game. He was really in control. Next weekend, Matthew Reynal. You know, let's, let's look seven days ahead. Will he have a big impact on that game? Yeah, I, I think he will, Victor. And, and the thing, communication seemed good tonight. You know, they worked as a unit, you know, yeah. all the officials together. Reynal will obviously be challenged, um, you know, with the English. Mm. Um, so you just don't want to miss communication. And, you know, tonight there was contentious issues. You know, they nearly scored a try. Was it a try? It looked like it was. On-field decision was no try. And then we saw that they actually backed the on-field decision. Same with our try. So, look, let's hope next week is the same performance from the referees that we got tonight. I must say, I wonder what Jatlin will say after this. Won't he come back and say, listen, there was pressure on the... There was one or two decisions that could have gone this, uh, their way. So it will be interesting to see how he handles the media this week. Will he be on the referees yeah. again say, listen, I've seen a few things again. I'm going to show you this is what's, what happened in the game. But... Um, yeah, you can only control what you can control. Look, like Sia, I think Sia said it. Yeah. We focus on what we could control on the field, and that's what they Look, it won't be a Lions series against South Africa without drama. And uh, we certainly got that uh, this week. We, we did. Um, going into next week, the Lions team, uh, obviously they're playing, they're playing with, with a lot of pride. They're playing with, uh, you know, a big squad. Do you change the personnel? Um, yes, yes, they, they, you know, they, they kind of got hammered tonight. Do you change the personnel? Do they have players within their squad that can make such a significant difference to the deciding game? I think we had a look at their bench as well tonight, and I don't think they had the right type of guys coming off the bench, bringing impact like we had tonight. Our bench were perfect. Our yeah. bomb squad really came on and made a difference. I think they do have. They've got fantastic players that's not playing at the moment that can come in if they want to play a different style. It's all about yeah. what do they think. Can they change their style to maybe a little bit more attacking? Maybe start off again, like the first half. It worked for them. Second half, bring on guys. But then the, the mindset must be we must go out and attack. So the mindset's going to be I important. agree with Vic. First you pick how you're going to beat the box. You've mm. got to come up with a plan. How do you improve areas where you're weak tonight was discipline, scrums, line-out, malls. Obviously, they allowed us to get through quite a few mm. phases, which the box don't let you do. So for me, their bench needs to be more aggressive in their selection, uh, similar to what we do. We maybe start a player that everyone doesn't agree should be starting. He starts, but then our bench empowers that for mm. the last... 30, 40 minutes. For me, they've got to do that. Um, but first, they've got to figure out how they're going to beat the box next weekend. 